morning. The hymn today is number 455. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is a great King. Come, let us adore him. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks with songs that has hailed the Lord. The Lord is a great King. Come, let us adore him. The Lord is a great King. Come, let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low, let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pastor, the flock that is led by his hand. The Lord is a great King, come let us adore him. a great king, come let us adore him. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. The Lord is a great king, come let us adore him. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The Lord is a great King. Come, let us adore him. In 455, Christ the Rock is our foundation. On our word we truly build. Him is him in God's own wisdom, and in him all doubt is stilled. Come and praise him for the promise that in him has been fulfilled on this rock that is his temple. Here was found all the right. After the dreams of the which me, uh, watches of the night, may be found in his people, here made holy in God's sight. Here the long wing stones his people, consecrated to his name, Burn the incense of their praises, offer thanks and go in the clay, joyful ye that Christ is risen, and one day will come again. Offer praise to God the Father, in whose love we came to be. Praise the Son, whose might is gentle, and whose power can make us free, if we live in his own spirit. Praise our God, both one and three. Lord, you blessed your land. You forgave the guilt of your people. O oh Lord, you once favoured your land and revived the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Will you not restore again our life, that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving health. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced, faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice flow down from heaven. Lord, 
glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you blessed your land, you forgave the guilt of your people. At night my soul longs for you, I watch for you at daybreak. We have a strong city, he sets up salvation as walls and bulwarks, open the gates that the righteous nation which keeps faith may enter in. The way of the righteous is level. You make smooth the path of the righteous. In the path of your judgments, O Lord, we wait for you. O Lord, you will ordain peace for us. You will have wrought for us all your work. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. At night my soul longs for you. I watch for you at daybreak. Lord, let your face shed its light upon us. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth and all nations learn your save and help. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. The earth has yielded its fruit, O God, our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, as your face shed its light upon us, A reading from the first letter of St. John. We ourselves saw and we testify that the Father sent his Son as Saviour of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him and he in God. My helper is my God, I will place my trust in him. He is my refuge, he sets me free. My helper is my God, and I will take my trust in him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My helper is my God, and I will take my trust in him. The Lord has raised up a mighty Saviour for us, as he promised through the lips of his prophets. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has visited his people and redeemed them. A saviour would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, for his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace.
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has raised up a mighty Saviour for us, as he promised through the lips of his prophets. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the I'm sorry. Almighty God, to whom the, this world with all its goodness and beauty belongs, Give us grace joyfully to begin this day in your name and to fill it with an active love for you and our neighbour. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Let us say the prayer for priests, eternal Father, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks to those priests who have brought us your word of proof, the grace of the sacraments, and above all, the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous occasions to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid but to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives and love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we choose your covenant. Forget not the life of your first ones forever. Rise up, O God, and defend your cause. Do not ignore the shouts of your enemies. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Once again, we gather Christ is with us in promise, present in this assembly of his people, in the proclamation of God's word and in the communion of the body of blood. As we do not have a priest to celebrate Mass today, let us reflect on the word and pray together, and then together share Christ's body and blood, consecrated for us at the previous Mass. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sin. I 
I confess to Almighty God uh, unto you, my God, and to sin, that I have great sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my thoughts, through my thoughts, through my most grievous thoughts. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary ever for for the aid of the saints, and you, my brother and sister, to pray for me. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray that through us, others may find the way of life in Christ. Father, we come, we born in the Spirit, to celebrate your awesomeship and the Lord Jesus Christ. Touch our hearts. Help them grow towards the light of your promise. Such our lives make them a sign of your love for all men and women. This we ask to our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. I, Ezekiel, heard a voice speaking. It said, you, son of man, listen to the words I say. Do not be a rebel like, like that rebellious set. Open your mouth and eat what I am about to give you. I looked, a hand was there stretching out to me and holding a scroll. He unrolled it in front of me. It was written on back and front. On it was written, lamentations, wailings, moanings. He said, son of man, eat what is given to you. Eat this scroll, then go and speak to the house of Israel. I opened my mouth. He gave me the scroll to eat and said, Son of man, feed and be satisfied by the scroll I am giving you. I ate it and it tasted as sweet as honey. Then he said, Son of man, go to the house of Israel and tell them what I have said. The word of the Lord. Your promise is sweet to my taste, O Lord. Your promise is sweet to my taste, O Lord. I rejoice to do your will, as though all riches were mine. Your will is my delight. Your statutes are my counselors. Your promise is sweet to my taste, O Lord. The law from your mouth means more to me than silver and gold. Your promise is sweeter to my taste than honey in the mouth. Your promise is sweet to me, my taste, O Lord. Your will is my heritage forever, the joy of my heart. I open my mouth and I sigh as I yearn for your commandments. Your promise is sweet to my taste, O Lord. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, shoulder my yoke and learn from me, says the Lord, for I am gentle and humble in heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
the disciples came to Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So he called the little child to him and set the child in front of them. Then he said, I tell you solemnly, unless you change and become like this little child, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And so the one who makes himself as little as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me. See that you never despise any of these little ones. But I tell you that their angel in heaven are continuously in the presence of my Father in heaven. Tell me, suppose a man has a hundred sheep and one strays. Will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hillside and go in search of the stray? I tell you solemnly, if he finds it, it gives him more joy than the ninety-nine that do not stray at all. Similarly, it is never the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. Gospel of the Lord. Who is the greatest? This is a question that, whether spoken or unspoken, is never far from our minds. Children learn from the minute they are born that they parents see the playpen and the playground. It overflows into every aspect of human life. No area of life is immune from all this too. Human tendency to seek recognition and importance. Pope Francis is keen to highlight it even among the clergy, cautioning against careerism and seeking out the power and position. Matthew gives an account of an occasion on the disciples addressed to Jesus directly in this issue, asking, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Calling a child to come over to position him right to the center of the group, knowing full well that children, like women, were the considered second-class citizens in the ancient world. His teaching was clear and challenging. We need to become like children, trusting, unpretentious, and oblivious to the divisions of class and social standing, pedigree, status, and power. To be great, we must become small. We tend to associate humility, service, and meekness with weakness, whereas in truth, these traits are indicative of the strength and courage. The problem is, though, that we think we are humble, then we probably aren't. The humble don't really go round thinking about such things. They just get on with serving and helping others. The humble also have a lifing sense of their dependence upon God. They have an instinctive understanding that only by God's grace and strength they are able to live their lives. The humble also don't seek praise from others. Sure and solid, they walk in God's love. When they fail to live to the way they know it is right, they turn to God in humble repentance and seek his mercy and forgiveness. Lord, by med meditating on the humility, may I come to understand how far I am from humility, but may I never get discouraged, but rely on you for the lifting up of the fallen and the healing of the broken hearted. We now ask Mary to join her prayers with ours as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
The response is, Christ, be mindful of your people. Christ, be mindful of your people. By shedding his blood for us, Christ gathered together a new people from every corner of the earth. Let us pray to him, Christ, be mindful of your people. Christ, our King and Redeemer, help us to know your power and your love. Christ, be mindful of your people. Christ, our hope and courage, sustain us throughout the day. Christ, be mindful of your people. Christ, our refuge and strength, fight with us against our weakness. Christ, be mindful of your people. Christ, our joy and solace, stay with the poor and lonely. Christ, be mindful of your people. Merciful God, hear the prayers of your people. Give us what we need to follow fully faithfully the call of the gospel. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Service is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.